of course I don't have to get into what they're doing to the Palestinian people, what they're doing to the people in Gaza, which is in the news every day. Unfortunately, not enough in the news. But the people are in a critical state in Gaza. They are, they are dying. They are dying because they cannot get to hospitals. They are dying because they don't have proper medication. They don't have food. They don't have water. They have soiled water. They have water that is contaminated all because Zionism is conveying a message and portraying itself to the world as some godly force that is simply being threatened by the inhumane people of the Palestinians. We have a secret to reveal to the world. Jews have been living with Palestinian people and with Muslim people throughout the world for hundreds of years with any human rights groups to protect us. We have no problem with these people. We are, in fact, the most closest in the world in our service to the our servitude to the one God, in subservience to one God. And we are thankful, we've been taught to be thankful in our schools for the hospitality and safe haven and friendship that the Muslim people and the Arab people throughout the world has constantly given to the Jewish people throughout the ages. There were no human rights groups and we didn't have the Inquisition and we didn't have the Crusades and we didn't have the Hitler from the, uh, it was that came from Christian society, and yet people don't say that the Christians are that we cannot live together. Why are they doing this vilifying the Muslim people? It's because a simple base goal of the Zionists, a ploy in order to be able to intimidate, in order to squelch any opposition to their flawed political movement, their rebellion against God, by having the civilized, the so-called civilized world throughout the world believe that the Muslims are people that you cannot live side by side with and therefore whatever they do to the people in Gaza and in the West Bank of Lebanon is justified. We are here to announce to the world they are s simple thieves and they are rogues. They are, they are evil in their actions. They are doing things that are against God. What's called inhumane is by us called against God. Every action that they're taking, the whole concept of taking over Palestine, this is expressly forbidden in the Torah. The whole concept of subju subjugating, oppressing, expelling the Palestinian people and every the long, long list that never ends of crimes and the, the, the suffering that they're doing to the Palestinian people. This is criminal. It's against God. It's against Judaism. Our hearts throughout the world of the Jewish people are rent by what they are doing to the Palestinians. We pain and suffer and we are humiliated by what the Zionists are doing. And we understand that they have an endless well of money in order to propagandize and to brainwash people to be fearful of the Muslims and be fearful of the Arabs and to create a panic that people, that even all the Dutch people, some of them and many of them unfortunately believe that you cannot return land to the Arabs because they're going to kill every Jew. This is pure Zionist propaganda as I've said history attests to the contrary. We even without that, they have come and fooled people into believing that this is Judaism. That is why they went to Palestine to create the state of not Uganda. At the beginning, these people who detested and abhorred godliness and religion said they want to go to Uganda, but they're changing because they knew that this way they can get the backing of the Jewish people from throughout the world, the ignorant masses, and get support from the evangelistic Christians. It had nothing to do with godliness. It had to do with one thing, a ploy, a con job. And that is what Zionism is. It's a con job. And that is what the state of Israel is. And that is why they can only brag and their only powers and intimidation and APAC, which APAC does, is that it puts this the fear in every politician that they'll be committing political suicide if they stand up and show too much sympathy for Palestinians. They must express their loyalty to the state of Israel. That's why you will find every official who's running for office here, every presidential candidate to every single, almost every official, almost every official coming here, from the majority and the minority, from the Republicans and Democrats, because the example has been set from from Congressman Finley to many others, whoever stood up and spoke too sympathetically for Palestine or spoke up and understood the difference between Judaism and Zionism, they were, they were immediately run out of office. We pray to God and we fervently pray and we ask every individual to pray for a speedy and peaceful dismantlement of this rebellion against God of this criminal state, of the state that is flawed in its essence. We pray to God that the people, the Muslim and Arab people should understand 
that the Jewish people around the world, there are many hundreds of thousands, especially from the Orthodox community who know the Torah, who understand to differentiate between Judaism and Zionism. They understand that this is based po politics and Zionism and the state of Israel, and not only doesn't it doesn't represent Jewish people, and not only is it not one, but that is on the contrary, it is the diametric opposite of Judaism, and that is the antithetical to Judaism. And whatever they're doing is only a cancer and bringing about suffering and animosity and hate for the Palestinians and the Jews alike. And they are the root cause of the endless river of bloodshed for not only 60 years of this declared state of Israel, but for over 100 years since they've gone up into Palestine and breached the walls of the Jewish community, since they've declared themselves as the representatives of Jews and started carrying out their evil plan. We plead, plead with the Palestinians to understand that the Jewish people really in essence wouldn't do this and they should understand that they're only because they've been ensnared in the trap of the Zionist state and the thinkers and the ploy that to think that it's godliness and the fear factor, the fear mongering of the, the Jews are afraid of the Arab people but in truth the Jews around the world knew and do know that the Arab people have always stood by us and the Muslim people. And let them know again as I say that there are still hundreds of thousands of religious Jews besides the Jews who have human rights. The Jewish people understand that this is godly, godly rights of the Palestinian people and that it's against the Torah. Not everybody is able to come up and stand up because the intimidation, the attacks of the Zionism that is so strong physically and emotionally and in every other aspect that they've attacked all our communities. When anybody stood up they make, they make them an example as they did with Dar Yassin. The day they started with their setting up of the state, they knew right away how to use this insidious and these ploys of killing a few people in order to set an example for the masses. That's what they've done with the Jewish people. They've killed Dr. Dahan in the 1920s, one of the most respected and well-known uh, um, ambassadors and representatives, distinguished people of the Jewish people, because he stood up and started revealing to the world that Jews and Zionism are two diametric opposites. So let the world know that there's hundreds of thousands of people who feel your suffering, suffer with you, just they cannot speak. And we have tens of thousands, and sometimes even over a hundred thousand comes out and demonstrates in Jerusalem, in New York. And invariably when we go out and demonstrate, people lose their jobs afterwards because they, stu they, they study with a micro micro uh, microscope, the, 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 with a magnifying glass. The Jews who went to the demonstration, if they have any type of power over the bosses of, their, of these people, they get them fired. Therefore, let them know there's many Jews who are in opposition to Zionism. And we feel your suffering. We should all pray fervently to the one who has the ultimate control of the world, to God, to bring about a speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the state. At the same time, we must do action. Get up, and I'm talking to my Jewish brethren. Get up and speak, and don't be intimidated by the Zionists. Let us do get up more often and constantly educate the world that they should not support the state. They should look at the truth. Who is the power in the world? God. We must stand up for what is right and, and help that the Palestinian people should be able to return to the sovereignty, rule over the entire Palestine. Quick, speedily in our days, and ultimately we pray for the day when all humanity will recognize the one God and we can all in harmony go up and serve God in peace soon as our amen. And our site is, of course, www.nkusa.org, and we have links there www.nkusa.org and we have links there of all a lot of documentation and pictures of tens of thousands of Jews demonstrating around the world of Jews being beaten and oppressed by the Zionists because they stand up against them in Jerusalem and in Beth Shemesh and so forth and B'nai Brah and also many other links and different things that you can see the, the documentation of the rabbinical authorities from day one against Zionism and our constant demonstrations and uh, actions that we're taking against the state of Israel. Thank you. Okay.